Welcome back, this is the Amajack. Today we've got Gunslinger KF Rig Suicidal. Good water, man. It's good water. You are here to clean out Zeds. I'm here to clean out Zeds and chew bubblegum, and I'm all out of Zeds. Can I get a uh, refill? Thank you! I think I talked about it before, but this reminds me of, uh, of combat arms all the time. Just because it's a rig, you know. Um, they had uh, Oil Rig, I believe, is, is the name of the map. It was a very popular map back when I used to play combat arms. I don't know the state of combat arms these days. Is it still alive, even? I don't know. Um, Let's call that your warm -up. But uh, Oil Rig, it was it was a good map. I liked it a lot. There was a big old crane. You could like climb up on it. and um, yeah, It was fun. I might play Combat Arms again. Um, there's a lot of hackers in it. For sure. I didn't really care. Like, it didn't really bother me. They show up from time to time, and whatever. It's a free game. Like, you're not... Who cares? I don't... It's not... Whatever. Um, but, uh... I might, I might play it again. I don't know. It's just, like, I, I like... I like Combat... I like... Um... How do I want to play it? Combat Arms in the in the past is, is definitely one of my favorite games. I haven't played it in years at this point, though. It, uh, it, they, they made some decisions that I didn't really like. They started taking a direction that I, I didn't really like. Uh, and I just I never went back and touched it again. Honestly, that's kind of the thing with, uh, with most of Nexon's games, though. Uh, Nexon also... Made Maple Story, same kind of thing. Like, they just they made decisions that I didn't like. And, uh, we can reopen the trade you know, now you're SOL, so it's a game that you don't really enjoy anymore. Um, but, uh, you know, same thing with MapleStory. Um, they had another one. Hold up, hold up. Uh, Nexon Games. Nexon.com. Mabinogi I never played. Oh, Cart Riders back. Um, Mabinogi, I never played. Vindictus, I believe I played a little while of. Uh, I want to see, like, not just now, but, like, in the past as well. Nexon, all games, history. You know, Nexon, Wikipedia. Um, games. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, so they have uh, Nexon America. Is what we're looking at here. What games do we have here? Cart Rider was a, was a game that I liked playing. Dragon Nest, I believe I played. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we'll uh, we'll 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 show. Um, I'll show you what I'm seeing here. I'll, I'll show you what I'm seeing. Okay. Um. <laughs> here you go. Um. Okay. So. Uh, they apparently made Counter-Strike online. Which was like zombies or something. Because they had uh, like the Combat Arms zombies game or whatever. Um, Crazy Racing Kart Rider, I believe, was, uh, was, was a game. I really liked their Kart Rider back in the day. I was a big fan. And then it closed down and I was really mad. I was really mad. Um... Dragon Nest, I played that. I was like max level in Dragon Nest. I was actually like one of the top players in Dragon Nest at the start. I got to like the max level, and then like they just didn't really add anything, and I quit. And then they closed, <laughs> probably because of that. Um, Dungeon Fighter Online, I never ended up getting into. Um, do do do. Cart Rider Drift, I might actually play when that comes out of closed beta. Mabinogi, I never got into. I know it's pretty popular. I might try it. Maple Story. I was huge into Maple Story for a while, like from like 2006 or something like that until probably like 2017, even 2018, somewhere in somewhere in that range. Um. Uh, and then Vindictus, I also played uh, a fair bit of, and I don't believe I played any of their mobile games. Maple Story M for a little while. Yeah. 
yeah. But uh, the games that I really cared about were honestly Vindictus, which I, I don't play anymore. Meeple Story. I don't see Combat Arms. Was sued by Nexon America for operating Game Anarchy, a popular... Um... Yeah, I don't see where their combat arms goes. I, I thought they also made combat arms. Like, they sued somebody for hosting cheats for it, but I don't see it in the list of games. Uh-huh. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> um, they're definitely a publisher that uh, that makes a lot of good games and then ruins a lot of good games. That's kind of been my experience with them. Because Maple Story, honestly, was a, was a classic. Combat Arms back in the day was was awesome. Um, Game Anarchy, actually, I used to I used to I used to hack in Combat Arms. I'll admit it. I was a hacker. I wasn't always, you know. Um, I was a reasonably high ranked account. Like I had a cheat account and then a normal account. I I often do that in games, actually. Just because it's fun to cheat. But it's not fun to, like, not progress yourself as well, you know? So I, I had uh, my my uh, my main account was, was honestly, like, pretty high ranked. I was, I, was, I was pretty up there. I typically am when I play games. I, um, I'm good at games, you know? Like, there are a lot of people out there who are not good at games. You know? There are a lot of people out there who, who enjoy games that are not good at games. Um, like Northern Lion is, a, is an excellent example of it if you ever watched him. He likes games. A lot of his content is gaming. I wouldn't say he's good at games though. And and it's not a shot at him. Like you don't have to be good at games. You know, that's that's not what pays his bills. <laughs> Certainly not. He, he's not good at games. Um, he's uh, he's just dedicated and likes it and uh, and, and makes some good commentary. Um, you know, and, and that's, that's fair, you know, it's respectable for sure. I appreciate it for sure. Um, but, uh, it's always, it's always fun when you're, when, when you're watching somebody who's not good at games and I don't know if it's like, if, if, if there's a thing that, that kind of causes it because I, I don't want to say like they're bad at games, you know, just, just, it, it seems like their brains just operate fundamentally different and, and just can't figure out the mechanics so well. They'll, they'll be struggling with, with things that I would consider to be very, very simple and uh, and put in way more time than I would ever personally put in because they're having fun with it anyway. I'm like, I, just, I don't know how you do that, but uh, more power to you. Um, example, again, is Northern Lion. Um, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know what it is, and I don't want to be like rude to him. If this video ever like makes it to his ears or something like that, like mad respect. I don't, I don't think that you have to be good at uh, at games to to like be entertaining or whatever. And it's, it's not a shot at him or whatever. I'm not, I'm not one of the people in the comments like, oh my god, when it like when he didn't do this, it just ruins my day and uh, I can't have you know whatever kind of you know garbage. It's just um, you know. Um, but when he when he's playing Splunky, you know, he uh, people were telling him to do the onk skip for a while. He's learned it now, but people were telling him to do the onk skip for a while when you're going down the um, whatever the thing is called. Uh, you, you you like blow up a bunch of stuff. The lava falls on in the hole, and then you're able to like pretty safely get out. And for a long time, he was like, I know it exists. I don't know how to do it though. And uh, to me, that that's like, all right. I would just look it up, you know. Like I would just, I'd, I'd just look it up, or like go to the place where the onk skip happens, and think logically about how you would be able to to overcome it. Um. And then he was saying how uh, how he's seen Malf do the onk skip, and uh, it's it's very simple. And, but he was like, yeah, I've seen him do it, but I don't really understand uh, what's happening. And, like, it's reasonable, right? Like, if, if he doesn't understand that, that's okay. It's not like I'm, I'm attacking him or anything for it. But uh, 
just to me, that's that's unfa- like, I, I couldn't possibly fathom watching somebody do something, and then not, like, just understanding how to do it. You know, might not be able to actually execute it, but, like, I would try, you know? Um, I'd understand the- the- would be something so simple. You know, I, I- I- I can't understand how you wouldn't be able to just see it happen and then do it, you know? Like, you just blow up the floor, hide underneath the canopy, and then the lava falls into the hole. Like, it's- it's a very, just, mechanically very simple thing. There isn't, uh, there, there's no, like, hidden tricks. Like, sometimes you'll- you'll see people doing something, and they'll be, like, you know, back hopping into a stair. And it's like, it's just a very simple thing. I don't see how you couldn't, uh, see somebody do that and then just do it yourself. When in reality, it's like, yeah, no, you have to be, like, mashing the B button every, like, third frame. And, uh, alternating the stick back and forth every sixth frame. Like, it's, there's a lot of stuff that you can't see. But, like, you know, with this, it's, it's very visible. And uh, I, I can't understand how somebody would be able to do it. And it's not, again, I don't want to be, like, you know, he's dumb for, for not being able to do that. It's just, uh, it, it makes me think that there's there's perhaps something, like, different between how our brains kind of operate and how we kind of, like, learn, you know? Because I've, I've seen him do it and I could do it, you know? I haven't, uh, I haven't done the onk skip. I've seen it. I could 100%, I would know how to do it if you were to put me in that situation. That's not, like, arrogance. Like, I, I look at it and it's very simple. I could do it. I don't play Spelunky, but, um... You know, like, I, I know exactly how you do it. It's there. Like, I, I could do it if I were there, you know? Um, but, uh, he, he couldn't, even though he had the same information that I do now. And that's just remarkable. And then, you know, at the same time, like, his commentary is more enjoyable. So, like, everybody's got their strengths and weaknesses, right? Um, I'm not saying that he's dumb for it or whatever, it's just, uh, we, we, we have our, our own separate, you know, strengths and weaknesses, which is, is fine. It's fine. It's not, uh, neither of us are better than the other in, in life, just, I would consider myself to, uh, for, for most games anyway, be a better gamer than him. Um, some exceptions, for sure. Uh, <laughs> Tetris, he would... Just stomp my butt. And, <laughs> like, yeah, hardcore. No Isaac, again. Now. Spelunky? Like, yeah, no. Like, any game that he's invested time into, he, he'll be better than me. But if you, if you throw us into, into a game that neither of us have played before and isn't similar to a game that either of us have a lot of experience in, like, if you were to put me in a... Like, us in a first-person shooter, I'd probably have a disproportionate advantage just due to the amount of time I've invested in first-person shooters. Um... Although I think he's also put in a bit of time, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'd have a bit of an even game there. But uh, just like in general, you put us into a game and be like, "Hey, figure out this mechanic." I, th I think I'd I'd be better off at that. But if you were to be like, "Hey, make this entertaining," I think he'd be better at it. You know, and uh, I think that's fine. Just uh, anyway, the moral of the story here is that um, when I play games, I'm generally pretty good at them. You know? I'm, uh, I'm a good gamer. I've never been, uh... Well, no, I was gonna say I've never been, like, the top player. That's just factually wrong. I definitely have been. Um, and I'm, I'm often, like, in the top 0.1%. Like, on Type Racer, for instance, that's a game. Don't tell me it isn't. I'm top 0.1%, you know? Um... For sure, even perhaps more than that, but that's that's as high as the <laughs> the like percentage goes. Um, but uh, yeah, no, like I I've I've definitely been up there. Just uh, I don't always get up there because I don't always invest the time into it, you know. I get bored of it before that. But I'll uh, I'll oftentimes like Path of Exile, for instance. I'd, I'd consider myself to be in probably the top, like, 0.1% of players. Probably. Um, RuneScape definitely would not. Well, I don't know. Probably, like, top 1% of, uh, of players. I think my bank value is, like, 3 bill or something. So I'm not, I'm not super rich in RuneScape, but definitely pretty decent. I'm a good PVMer in RuneScape as well. 
Like, I actually, I'm actually, like, pretty good at PVM. Um. Killing Floor 2, obviously. I mean, you guys have, have seen enough Killing Floor 2. I, I don't know. It's not, it's not to be braggadocious or whatever, but... It's just, uh, it's one of my strengths. Is gaming. I like doing it. I do it a lot. And uh, I kind of get good at it as a result. And, and, and the kind of gamer that I am is... Is a... Uh, I'm a very... Like, intrigued gamer, I guess. You could say. I like figuring out the mechanics and, and uh, how things kind of interact together. It's weird because in KF2 I like don't do that. I had to look up what the difficulties do. I just I don't care about that kind of stuff in, in KF2 for some reason. I just I play the game. But Most of the time when I play a game I, I like figuring out uh, the mechanics and kind of like learning it from a fundamental perspective rather than uh, like getting experience with the game and, and getting better at it that way. Like, I like to... Like, learn how the game operates on, like, almost like a code level, and then kind of go from there. But, uh, I didn't do that with KF2. Definitely have done that with Minecraft. Definitely did do that with, uh, with MapleStory. Um, I had, like, spreadsheets and stuff, you know? I love, I love making that stuff. Factorio. Factorio, I wouldn't even say I'm a good gamer at. Like, I don't know. I'm good at it. I've never made a mega base, though. You know, like, I just, I can't invest that much time into Factorio. See, games I'm not good at. What kind of games am I not good at? Because if I'm going to talk about how amazing I am, I kind of have to, have to bring myself down a few notches, too, right? What games am I bad at? Among Us. For sure, I think I think that Northern Line would just always be a better game right among us because I, I think that plays to his strengths more than uh, more than a place to mine. Um, or well, there, there's there's two options. He'd either be way better than me, or we'd both be equally pretty garbage. I haven't seen him play Among Us. I still have to watch that stream. Um, See so yeah, another game that I'd be bad at. Isaac, Binding of Isaac. Time for a new uh, and, and games like it even too, like Gungeon, Hades. Uh, these games I'm just not good at. I'm just I'm just bad at them, you know. Um, I don't know why. I like I like it from like I, I've got like a hundred, two hundred hours in uh, Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. I think like, it's a good game. I like it. Don't get me wrong, but uh, I just I I'm not good at him. I don't know why. Just, just something about like the twin stick kind of roguelike kind of thing is uh, it's just not good. Not good for me. Doesn't doesn't do me well. Um, let's see what are the kind of games am I just terrible at? Battle Royales. I will. I suck at battle royales. I don't know. The, the stress of it just kind of like gets to me. Chess. Not a good chess player. A lot of games that I'm uh, that a lot of games that I'm bad at too, but I'm a good gamer. I'm good at games. It's one of my strengths for sure. It's like useless, useless, useless skills, you know. <laughs> Just terrible, terribly useless. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember, to like the video, if you like it, subscribe to see more of the future commentary. If you have anything to say, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.